Okay, so we finished Darkest Dungeon 2. We're starting a new game someone gifted me called Prey. I assume by the name of it, it's a very Christian, uh, family-friendly game. So we're going to, you know, get into some prayer here or something. I've never played this before. Uh, first up, I think the sound might be a little loud. So, let's... Maybe, maybe do this. All right, and dude, the, the menu wobbling is kind of weird. All right, new game. Uh, campaign slot one, I guess. Difficulty normal, that's fine. Survival mode options. This is a set of optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Nope. Uh, continue. Whoa. Wait, hold on a sec. Is it still loud? All right, hold on. Chat's still saying it's loud. Let me go back to options just a sec. I'll keep speech up a bit. All right, let's try that. Um. Oh, just choose your gender. M U. You play you. All right. Well, I'll be my guy. Not many jump scares, but depending on your play style, it can be tense. I am ready to clinch. I am ready to pray so hard. You have no idea. <laughs> Press any key or button. Click. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Cool. Did we win? Oh my gosh, I'm jacked. I mean, this guy's arms are way smaller than mine. I mean, he needs to work out more. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Let me see. You've been given an objective. Press O to open transcribe. Uh, Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos space station. Wasn't there another game we played where Talos was the name of the space station? The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Copper. We just started. My donation for tonight's prayer. Thank you, Hawk. Get in the helicopter on the roof. Neuromod application instructions. Warning! Neuromod should only be administered by certified trans star technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eyes shortly after. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against the bony orbit of eye socket. Keep your eyeball open. Depress the orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. It's just like shunk. Ah! For five minutes? Dispose of used Neuromod to provide biohazard bag. Wait, what's the... What's the good of the... What, why would I do this? Uh... Oh. What? Wait. Okay, that was interesting. F is drop, mouse one is throw. Oh, uh, okay. Wasn't expecting that kind of gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm leaving home. Let me just trash my own apartment before I leave. Yeet! Yeet! Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Excerpt from Chapter 3 of Speech, Synthesis, and Natural Language Gen by Sebastian Smythe. Voice conversation technologically enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices, without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data, as well as the precision of the conversation function and limitations in processing power. Okay, uh, that's useless. Thank you. Wait, oh, sp Okay, space is jump. Um, Transstar employee workstation uh, contains useful information files utilities. Press T to view more. 
Workstations. Many Trainstar employees have private workstations. By the way, did you notice this guy's last name was also you? I wonder if this is dad. Locked stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass. Workstations may contain email files to download or special utilities. Three emails. Yo, Morgan's... Chat, if this is the size of the screen resolution he's running, I think our guy's got some really bad eyes. Probably from all those suction cups he's sticking on his eyeballs, if I'm being real with you. All right. Congrats and welcome. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources. So probably the training exercises will teach us the game basics. Delivery. I sent a package with everything you need for your first day. Uniform, Transcribe, and Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away as... Oh god, we have to do the eyeball thing. As I'll be running some tests first things in the morning. Just follow the instructions, I'll be in touch. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me, so there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very soon. Whoa, I hit the wrong button. Uh, see you very, very soon, Morgan. All right, hold on. What was that? Mouse wheel down does this. Is this the the back of my eyeball? If it's not supposed to be, then I'm drawing a weird conclusion here. Uh, hands on electronics. Excerpt from Preface to Hands-On Electronics. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. <laughs> I took basic electronics class in, uh, in high school. Didn't really do anything with it after that, but I made a circuit. We made these cool little gizmos that, I mean, well, back then, you know, they were TV stations, but, uh, they, 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 we made these gizmos, it basically was just jammers. You just, you know, you plug in a battery next to it and put it next to a TV and the TV wouldn't work. Made us feel like Hacker Man. Uh, account of Fermi's question. Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Robert James. Consider there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets will have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may have developed interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Because humans are scary. Uh, excerpt from Anthology on Tang Poetry. I can't read that. Fire uh, in the equations. Uh, the nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of, uh, of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it a fundamental and a re reducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? Uh, the brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Alright, so this guy reads a very specific set of books, doesn't he, chat? Uh, what do we got? The method psi. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He doesn't, he's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Wait, was, am I playing Alex Yu? Or no, I think I'm Morgan? Congrats, Morgan. Signed, Alex. Oh, I stashed the, yo, I'm taking that wine with me to space. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Excerpt from an entry of Food Science and Cooking. Transglutaminase, uh, TG, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used in the bond protein containing foods together in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Uh... 
Wait, what? Oh, I need a... <laughs> to lift the fridge, I need a skill called Leverage 3. Okay. Uh, Heart of the Walk. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of the rich flavor at every new meal as it tastes has to cook. Is that actually how a wok works? Like, if it's used, is it like a, you know, I, like, I know about seasoned cutting boards. Do woks actually do that? Lifting fridges in the Deus Ex games was surprisingly handy. I, in Control, when you got telekinesis to high enough level, you could, like, ye uh, basically yeet forklifts at people. Um, Where is the thing I have to put in my eyeball? Maybe I've already done it. Maybe, like, in the story I did it a previous day. Oh, wow. Look out there. Wait, is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Where's the Golden Gate Bridge? God damn. Is that San Francisco? Is this future San Fran? Always go the way that you can't go first. Morning, Mr. Yu. Mine. Now go get it. <laughs> She's like, come on. Mug leaves his door open, confirmed. <laughs> Thief, I gave it back. Look, it came up with me. I haven't even moved, chat. Look, it came up with me. Whoa, fancy. Let's let's open that bottle of wine I brought with me. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transstar facility is just a short hop. Bethesda 78 Software. degrees. Oh, that's Clear so cool. skies all the way. Bethesda Softworks presents. Oh, if this is made by Bethesda, that explains the light I dropped on the floor clipping up through the floor. Okay. There you go. That, that, that's lore already. That's a nice view on the bay there. An Arcane Studios production. Hold on, chat's complaining about the volume. Uh... We'll try this. I didn't touch the music. I didn't touch the music. Oh look, my dude's bopping his foot to the music. No, oh, he stopped. He's not feeling the beat anymore. Pray. I like that. That was a that's a nice little touch. Him tapping his foot. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Okay, shift sprints and pulls up a stamina Hello, bar. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Okay. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm.
smooth elevator ride. Floor seven. Morgan, finally. Dang boy, <laughs> he thick. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. Oh, that makes one of How's us. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I like his really rough voice. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. Oh, this is my bro. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. All right, so that's my bro that delivered the wine and the card. Uh, what if I told you I could turn... Oh, that's... We already read one of these. Okay. All right, is it time to be Gordon Freeman and push the rocket Good to the Good morning, main? Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but... Trust me, you're going to do fantastic. With every cell All of good? my being. Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. I'm going to run in and punch Press them. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Look how good I am at tests! <laughs> okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. <laughs> think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. What? Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? Oh, I just found it at C. No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head Dude, he didn't tell C. me what to do. You're doing I was hitting control, and I'm like, oh, there's no crouch in this game. And then... Afterward, I was, I, I was like, oh, it's C. Okay, C is it. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can. Oh, it's a jump in test. The most natural intuitive way possible without thinking just just go for it press the red button when you're ready i'm sorry can someone please explain to me what's happening simmons i installed exactly what tina brought down did you double check speaker still on i apologize morgan we're having some trouble with the equipment not your fault you're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I wonder if they're expecting me to use magic powers to push the buttons, and they're like, why doesn't he have magic powers? Why is he hopping over sofas and hiding behind chairs? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. <laughs> Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know, love, or try something new. Familiar. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um, afraid. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. 
track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Uh, switch. Good. Next. Really quickly, I saw a video today of uh, a dad, and he had like you know one of those child train sets where the trains are like magnets, and he's like, "Uh oh, Ashley." The train's gonna go this way, but there's five people. There's five little, like, Lego people on the track. And he's like, but we could turn and go this way, but there's one person there. And he's like, what do we do? And the kid's like, one. And she takes the one person, puts it on the track with the five, so now there's six there, and then runs over all of them with the train and goes, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Just like kills them all. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man, pushing him into the track which stopped the train. How would I know? How would I have the confidence that a, fa a fat... I would not believe that. Do nothing. Almost done. How would I have the confidence that that man's fat would stop a train? A runaway train is bearing down with five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you could die. Push the fat man. <laughs> so Interesting. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee. It's empty. I oh my god! Security! Security! Did you try pushing the fat man? I heard that solves a lot of problems. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. I think that guy didn't pray hard enough. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Alright, so the plot of the story is we're attacked by coffee. Got it. Wait, what? The game just started. Oh, it's bugged. Well, it was a fun game while it lasted, chat. I guess it's still in early access. Wait, so I was thinking that they put me back in my house, but it's actually like I've gone back in time. The wine is on a different counter now. I'm gonna need the controller. <laughs> Just the best of things. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Um... Uh, yeah, so it takes stamina. Shoot. It takes stamina to swing the weapon. Uh, 
That's neat. But who was phone? <laughs> uh, activity log. Wakes up, turns off alarm, checks transcribed on computer, various tasks, takes us out. They watched me shower! Chat, this place is run by perverts. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Daily tests. Uh, if you've been on branches of our main project line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones. And any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Oh. No. No. I was trying to scroll down. Uh, Mr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That is to say, nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromind installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. How long have I been here? A note about this morning. Uh, I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in a critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. I'm guessing Bellamy was the guy that the head crab jumped on him. Well, this shifted up into a higher gear fast, didn't it? All right, go right, so I'm gonna go left first. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off screen. Yo, I'm the Truman Show? Hell, you're watching from my kitchen. 744. Please don't tell me that's how many times you wipe my brain. Someone farted. Whoa! You know what? You can stay in there. That's your house now. I'm just going to take some wine and uh, drink the memory of you away. Okay. Re what? The Havasa's heavy twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in train star facilities. Good for a liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use mouse one to swing the wrench. Important. Pressing and hold mouse one to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks drain stamina. Huh. Okay. Alright, I got elevator and exit. Is this like the fake helicopter ride I was on? And this is where I thought we landed on the helicopter landing pad, and I entered into here, and there was a robot here. Do you remember when I dropped the lamp in the corner, and I went up a floor, and the lamp was still there on the floor? That's because I was on the same floor. It wasn't a glitch. I was on the same floor, and the walls just move around. So that's not, I don't even know if that's a real elevator. That's pretty rad. Oops. Quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers through inventory or favorite wheel by selecting.